Oh man, the news today is going to be Fuego! Intro! OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? All right. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started you already know the vibes give the video a big thumbs up like 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 destroy that like button right there homie all right we have a couple of dope 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 news items for this video the first one is a big one and a bad one for the PlayStation 5. If you were hoping, biding your time, that you would eventually uh, see the PS5 supply increase and it'll be easier for you to get a console, it's not looking good, bro. Sony, this is coming from AndroidAuthority.com, but this isn't the only website. Multiple websites are reporting this. That Sony thinks the PlayStation 5 shortage could continue into 2022 <laughs> they're pretty much saying all of 2021 ps5 is going to be in short supply going into 2022 sony has reportedly warned that it could struggle to meet ps5 demand this year and next year too and the news comes after nintendo has warned of possible switch shortages later this year Sony held a private briefing, briefing with analysis after reporting their recent financial reports, uh, reporting from Bloomberg. And this is what they say, and I quote, I don't think demand is calming down this year. And even if we secure a lot more devices and product, products, many more, and produce many more units of the PlayStation 5 next year, our supply wouldn't be able to catch up with demand says the chief financial officer at this financial briefing they're saying that the ps5 is pretty much just a hot tamale and there's nothing that they can do about it as many as many ps5 as they're cranking out the console is just in demand bro i can't wait after this stream after this new stream i'm gonna be on my gaming channel playing that returnal the exclusives bro you buy consoles for exclusive returnal is straight fire ratchet and clank next month key to bridge of spirits and then we don't know what they're gonna announce for holiday either ragnarok god of war ragnarok or horizon forbidden west i'm just telling you man sony is just doing it this generation this is going to be my console this gen man and so dope 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 games are coming that's what pushes consoles um and so, um, tough if you weren't able to lock in a PS5. You just got to keep looking. And on my channel, I try to update you guys on when PS5s are going to be in supply. So make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date. All gaming news, all that fun stuff. But the next news item. Pretty big for Xbox. We could be getting an all new halo infinite trailer this is coming from gamespot.com people think it's a halo infinite trailer um based on microsoft joseph statton's tease uh, jo microsoft joseph statton has teased something and um, fans are pointing to a, a new all new halo infinite trailer coming all right so is microsoft getting ready to tease a new halo infinite trailer we sure hope so says the article and microsoft joseph statton who recently joined the halo infinite development team to help finish the game he shared a teaser for what many people believe will be a new trailer on twitter and so he posted a cryptic tweet that said summary of my week and appears to show several sequences and 
they're saying that it it's leading it, it, that it seems to be a new video for halo infinite i'm interested to see what this game is going to turn out to be i was chilling with one of my sponsors uh we were just hanging out gaming on my gaming channel the other day and he was like man halo's just bubbles and lasers shout out to scoobs <laughs> he had me rolling but i never been really big on halo i hope it's a good game for xbox fans because competition is good for everybody bro so that um it turns out to be a quality game and i, I kept saying this no 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 i'm gonna just move on from halo all right <laughs> next news item bro that's why i had this dual sense uh, trailer up if you're looking for a new controller color for your dual sense it looks like you're not gonna have to wait long we could um be about to see a new dual sense color this is coming from pocketlint.com and uh, they're saying that a new leak reported by area huganos um, I guess this is a reliable leaker claims that Sony has been working on color variants for the DualSense for a while for a long time now and so um, That the first two are intended for launching soon and you want to know what the two colors will be uh, The first up is going to be a primary red version with black accent accents and the other is going to be mostly gray and black I have one two three four and my son has a, a, the other dual sense um in the other room he was playing nba 2k with one of his friends the other day um i have five dual sense controllers for my kids and myself we have two ps5s um they're all white I, I'm, I'm telling you man i like the white color it looks dope if a black one comes out or a different color comes out, I'll probably get it for the channel for the content. Show you guys the controllers. Um, but new color variants for the PS5 um, DualSense are said to hit the market soon. Could be possibly a June summer announcement. We'll have to wait and see. Bro, I told y'all about exclusives. And why Sony has been dominating. This, this next announcement has some dudes upset. But I don't care because I have a PS5, so I'm good, bro. Bro, we talking about Ratchet and Clank. But there's probably two games I'm going to be getting in June. Ratchet and Clank and Final Fantasy VII Integrade, which now looks to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive for a longer period than you thought. So, bad news for gamers with only a PlayStation 4, PC, or Xbox, who want to play Final Fantasy VII or the next-gen Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. It looks like in a new trailer we learned... Uh, yeah, yeah, we all right. But it looks like it's been extended, the exclusivity to the PS5. Previously, it was just for six months, but now, according to this article, Forbes, this is coming from Forbes, that... Uh, Final Fantasy 7 um, will be on exclusive to the PS5 for a longer, longer period of time. All right. They're saying the article is saying that the content will probably not even come to the PS4 at all. And if you are planning to get the game for Xbox or PC, you're gonna have to be waiting until at least uh, December. So um, Final Fantasy VII Integrate is gonna be exclusive to just the PlayStation 5. That's what Sony needs to do, bro. I know the PlayStation 4 has over 115 million consoles, but it's time to let go of the past and embrace the future and um, give dudes a reason to get a PlayStation 5. And most importantly, have your PS5 owners vindicated or justified in making this ps5 purchase that we're gonna have exclusive games like final fantasy 7 i tweeted out on twitter i'm gonna get some nintendo dudes upset final fan but it's facts 
Final Fantasy VII is the reason why your Nintendo games currently are 20 frames per second. What do I mean? When Final Fantasy VII was released for the PlayStation 1, it changed the industry, bro. Nintendo no longer had the lock and dominance on third-party support. And from then, the PlayStation 1 would dominate that generation. PlayStation 2 dominated the next generation. And then Nintendo stopped making powerful co consoles. They made the Wii. After the GameCube, they made the Wii. And then after the Wii, they made the Wii U. After the Wii U, they made the Switch. Switch is doing great. Switch is selling good. So Nintendo's making a profit with the Switch. But they're trailing behind in power. There's no games that's going to look as good as this on your Nintendo handheld. And that's just facts. All right. And those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. We out. Peace.